Good morning, all you cool Aggies and Buckeyes. Today is April 30th, and it is the last day of April. And today you'll be learning about antonyms. Now, most of you guys already know what antonyms are because you practiced them probably in second or third grade. But you're going to get a refresher, refresher today. So let's take a look at our goal. And our goal today is going to be to understand difficult words using antonyms. So what exactly is an antonym? Well, antonyms are the opposite of a given word or phrase. Here's your hint for antonyms. They're usually context clues surrounding the word so you can figure out what the opposite meaning of that word is. So it's kind of like a little game of hide and seek. In a text, you'll have your word and then to find the antonym, you have to look around to see what the opposite is. Now let's practice some antonyms together. We're going to look at the word unique on page 353 and we're going to look for some context clues. Remember those context clues are the words that surround the word unique so we can figure out what unique would mean. Now you all probably already know that unique means special. Now we have to find the word that would be the opposite of unique. So let's take a look at page 353 and see if we can find the antonym. All right, so let's read this short little paragraph from the passage that we've been reading all week. So it says, photomicrography dates back to 1840 when a scientist named Alfred Donay first photographed images through a microscope. Around 1852, a German pharmacist made the first version of a camera that took photomicrographs. In 1882, Wilson Snowflake Bentley of Vermont became the first person to use a camera with a built-in microscope to take pictures of snowflakes. His photographs showed that there is no such thing as a typical snowflake. Each is unique. Nowadays, we have electron micrographs. So here is our word that we are trying to figure out what the opposite is. The word is unique, and you know that unique means special. It's one of a kind. Now, if something is unique, what would be the opposite of unique? So think about the context clues that are surrounding unique. Let's take a look at this sentence. Are there any words in this sentence that could be the opposite of unique. Nowadays, definitely not. We have electron micrographs. You guys are right. None of those words mean the opposite of unique. So let's take a look at the sentence before and see if any of those words might be the opposite of unique. His, nah, photographs, definitely not the opposite of unique. Showed, that, there, you guys are right, those are still not the opposite of unique. Is no such thing as a, you guys are still doing great, none of those mean the opposite of unique. Typical, hmm, typical is one of our vocabulary words. What does typical mean? Hmm. Think back to Monday's lesson. That's right. Typical means to show qualities or characteristics of a certain type. So yes, you guys are absolutely correct. The opposite of unique is typical. Because if something is unique, it can't be typical. Because typical happens all the time. Let's go ahead and put that into our chart. Awesome. Let's work on the next one. Our word is weak. We're going to head to page 354, look around to see if we can find what the opposite of weak means. Now, you know weak means it's not strong. It's not powerful. So let's look for the opposite of weak. Let's read the passage. Remember, our word is typical and we are trying to find Sorry, our word is not typical. We just did that one. Our word is weak. We are looking for the word that means the opposite of weak. The light microscopes used in school are weak 
and do not show much detail. An electron microscope is, much more, is a much more powerful tool and it allows scientists to see things that we can't see with our own eyes, such as skin cells or dust mites. So here's our word week. Let's look around to see if we can find what the antonym of week would be. Now, tell me when to stop. That's right, I should still keep going because I have not found the opposite of weak. If something is weak, it means you're not strong enough, right? So let's keep going. You're right, I should still keep going. So nothing in that sentence tells me what the opposite of weak would be. Let's take a look at the following sentence because remember, antonyms can be in the sentence before the sentence or after the sentence that has the word. An electron microscope is much more, are any of those the opposite of weak? That's right, they're not, so let's keep going. Powerful tool and it allows scientists to see things we cannot see with our own eyes, such as skin cells or dust mites. Did anybody find the opposite of weak? Awesome, you guys are correct. The opposite of weak is powerful. Let's put it into our chart. And our last example for today is the word decays. Let's head to page 355, find the word decays and see if we can find the antonym. Remember, antonym is the opposite. All right, let's read this passage and see if we can find out what the opposite of decay is. Scientists use electron micrographs to see how objects change over time. Hmm, did any of those words help me figure out what the opposite of decays is? You guys are right, it didn't. For example, we can look at a piece of fruit to see how it decays. Now, you guys know that decays means it's not fresh anymore, right? It's not good. If you have a piece of fruit that has decayed, you definitely do not want to eat it. So I don't see an antonym in that sentence either. Let's look at the next sentence that's after decays and see if there's an antonym for decays. First, the fruit looks fresh. You guys are right. The antonym to decays is fresh. Fresh is the opposite of decays. Let's put it into our chart. Well, it's no surprise that you guys did so great helping me identify the antonyms in the story we read this week. Now, your job is going to be to go to Google Classroom and complete the assignment that's labeled Unit 5, Week 4, Antonyms. Head over, head over to Google Classroom now to complete your assignment. Have a good week, guys.